Shalom, shalom. This is Apostle Spiro Wisdom Kabinde, broadcasting live all the way from South Africa. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Today, it is our day that the Lord has made. And we really appreciate for your participation in the name of Jesus. Today, as we'll be taken, you are stepping into your miracle. In this month, in this month, you are stepping into your miracle in the name of Jesus. We declare and we declare that it is done in the name of Jesus. As you step into your miracle, Things must start to happen. Hidden things must start to come out. Whatever that the enemy has delayed, it must start to, to come forth in the name of Jesus. As you step into your miracle, you will step into your miracle because this is your miracle month. This is your month where you need to cry. We are speaking about the battle cry that we also pick up in the Bible in the name of Jesus. Today we'll be looking at the Israelites, as we'll be looking at the Israelites, and we want to see God, we are going to see God doing favor for them, doing mercy for them, and giving them favor in the name of Jesus. What God did to the Israelites is what he did for us, is what he's doing for us, is what he will do for us. Whatever incident that is recorded in the Bible, it is also speaking to us. As prophets of God, we need to make prophetic declaration in the name of Jesus. Because we are stepping into our miracle in this month of May. We declare, we declare, Father, in the name of Jesus, what it defeated us from January to April. In this month, my father, I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus that my father, a miracle, a favor will be done in the name of Jesus. Father, today we bless your holy name. We thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And I'm also praying for my daughter, Njabulo. Yes, it's Busison Kabinde. Yes, it is her birthday today, the 4th of May. Yes, 4th of May, it is her birthday. Today, now at 6 o'clock, we are starting a new day. I decree and I declare that this new day, this new year, and this year that the Lord is adding unto her, it must be well with her in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that dominion, authority, and power is her portion. As she is born on this month of grace, may grace favor and mercy fall upon him. I am speaking healing. I am speaking deliverance. I am speaking a breakthrough. Even to all people who are watching us today who are celebrating their birthday in this month. Yes, we cut across, you know, the, 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 the month of May in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we are going to make a decrease. In the name of Jesus, today you will be stepping in into your miracle. By hook or crook, you will be stepping in. By the mercies of God, you will be stepping in. You will want to, you will see God coming into your life. You will see God intervening in your life in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus, we are going to make this decrease in the name of Jesus. And in his authority, through his power. And we know that whatever that we speak, it will come to pass in the name of Jesus. The angelic troops stand ready to dispatch these decrees to the heavenly realms, to the rulers, to the authorities, to the spiritual wickedness. Yes, to these superpowers in the name of Jesus. Yes, the angelic troops, they are ready to dispatch, yes, all our prophetic prophetic decrees and declarations in the name of Jesus to all the cosmic powers that are sending fairy dust into our lives in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus. Say, my father, in the name of Jesus, I declare and I declare the Lord leads me of the direction route to confuse the enemy in the name of Jesus. That is our prayer. We say, Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree that you, my Father, you lead us off the direction route to confuse the enemy. Let our enemies be confused. Let our enemies be confounded. In the name of Jesus, we decree, Father God, and we declare, my Father, that you shall cause blindness in the camp of the enemy. In this month of grace, when they want to arrest us, they shall not arrest us, but they shall be arrested. My Father, I decree, and I declare, that you open our eyes in this time. My Father, the miracles prophet Elisha did, in the book of 2 Kings chapter 6, let it happen now in the name of Jesus. I decree, Father, that in the name of Jesus, all my enemies, all our enemies shall be confused, shall be confounded, shall be made mute in the name of Jesus. They shall be deaf, they shall be blind in the name of Jesus. My Father, I decree and I declare that it is done in the name of Jesus. Father, we are stepping into our miracle in this month of May, a month of grace in the name of Jesus. My Father, my Father, when the enemy pursues you, my Father, you must make a way where there appears to be none. My Father, I know that you are making a way out of every situation. You are a way maker. You are a miracle worker. You are a wonder. This is the month of miracles. This is the month of signs and wonders in the name of Jesus. My Father, today we decree and we declare that when the enemies are pursuing us, you shall open the road for us. You shall open the road for us. You shall open the road for us. And we are moving forward, forward ever and backwards never. My Father, today we decree and we declare that you are not fearful. But my Father, you are steady in your trust. You are steady in your trust. My Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare that I shall see how you save us. Yes, my Father, open our eyes. Deliver us, my Father, from the hands of the enemy. Whenever the enemy is arresting us, my Father, release your angelic troops. Release, release your battalions in the name of Jesus. My Father, deliver us from the hands of the enemy. As you delivered my father Elisha, as you delivered my father Gehazi, when they were surrounded by the troops of the enemies, my father, they were arrested. My father, today, I pray, I pray like King Ezekiel, when he was attacked by King Sennacherib and his Assyrian troops, my father, as we decree and we declare your holiness, my father, release Michael, your angel, your angel, your chief of staff, my father, to go into the camp of the enemy, my father, in the name of Jesus. My father, we want to see our 185,000, you know, enemies being dead in the name of Jesus. My father, today we decree and we declare that you shall save us and we shall see how far you have saved us. My father, the enemies that have pursued us, they must be gone. They must be gone. We cannot suffer a witch to live according to Exodus chapter 20 verse 18 in the name of Jesus. They must be gone. They must disappear. My father, I command the earth like Jeremiah who said, O earth, O earth, hear the word of the Lord. My father, let this earth open its mouth and swallow all our enemies. In this month of grace, my father, we roll away every shame, every disgrace. We decree and we declare our breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. My father, we shall not register any failure in the name of Jesus. But we say, father, success is our portion. Breakthroughs is our portion. Health is our portion. Power, dominion, authority is our portion. Wealth and resources, blessings, honor and glory, it is our blessing. My, my Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree, Father God, that the Lord, we decree, Father God, that you have done the battle for us. You have done the battle for us. My Father, you are Jehovah Nisi. You are Jehovah Nisi. You are the Lord, our banner. You are the one that is fighting for us. In the name of Jesus, Father, I decree, and I declare that you will go forward, even when the, the when even though 
when they appear to be barriers of the oceans. Father, we are moving forward. My Father, any Red Sea that is in front of us, we decree and we declare in the name of Jesus that, my Father, this Red Sea shall be opened by the east wind. My Father, we are calling the east wind, Umoya Wasempumala, to come, my Father, and open the Red Sea and make, you know, the land to be dry so that we walk. My Father, today I decree and I declare that any Red Sea in each and every month, if the Red Sea, my Father, that is on May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, my Father, it shall perpetually open. It must be open. When we appear, something must happen in the name of Jesus. My Father, today, you have made a way. Yes, my Father, your provision is already ours. You are the provider, you are Jehovah Jireh. My Father, today I declare and I declare that the angel, your angel, angel of the Lord, who leads us, is also the one who stands behind us between the pursuing enemies and ourselves in the name of Jesus. You said in your word, Exodus chapter 23, verse 20 to 25, Yes, my Father, behold, I am sending an angel. This angel is walking before you, in the name of Jesus. Yes, you must obey this angel. Because if we obey this angel, our enemies will be this angel enemies. In the name of Jesus. My Father, you promise that you shall fight our battles. My Father, today we are seated in heavenly places. My Father, as we resurrected with you, we are seated in heavenly places. We are seated on your right hand side. My Father, you are the one who is giving us a promise to say we need you to sit. We need you to relax whilst you are dealing with our enemies. You are going to turn our enemies into a footstool. My Father, today, moving forward, we are ruling in the midst of our enemies because of your mercy, because of your love, because of your grace. In the name of Jesus, my Father, lead us. My Father, you are the one who is going to fight our enemies. Fight our enemies as you promised us in the book of Isaiah chapter 49 verse 25 you said you shall contend you shall fight you shall destroy you shall kill you shall wrestle with all our enemies that are wrestling with us my father i cry like david contend my contenders fight my fighters destroy my destroyers my father my father you said my father every eater of flesh shall eat their own flesh they shall drink their own blood like a sweet wine. Today, Father, I exalt you in this month of mercy, in this month of grace, in this month of favor. My Father, let favor locate me in the name of Jesus. My Father, we are protected in all sight because you are the light. My Father, I declare and I declare that my Father, you will return. You will return the barriers and the seas back to the enemy. My Father, we are reversing everything back to the sender in the name of Jesus. Whatever witchcraft, whatever evil vow, whatever altar that has been raised against our lives, against our ministries, against our jobs, against our careers, against every endeavor that we are trying. My Father, every evil arrow, let it go back to the sender. As you said in Isaiah 54, verse 17, there is no weapon that shall prosper against us. Yes, let them form their own weapons for their own sake. My father, they shall be consumed by their own weapons. You said in Jeremiah 1.19, yes, they will fight us, but they shall never win any battle because you are with us. Isaiah 8.10, you said, my father, you enemies, gather, gather yourselves, gather yourselves, you covenant. You are planning against us, but in none of your plans will be prosperous. All your plans will become zero because the Lord is with us. If God is with us, who can be against us? No one in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that my Father, you are the destroyer. You destroy, you destroy, you destroy every altar. The enemy has erected any personal altar. My Father, today, destroy that personal altar, any image altar, any family altar, whatever altar the enemy has erected in the name of Jesus. Destroy every seven 
seven, seven, seven altars, Balaam raised against us in the name of Jesus. These seven altars, they stand for seven days in the name of Jesus. Every day, my father, you destroy these altars. My father, as I said, there is no weapon for sin against us that shall prosper. I declare and I declare, no, oh, the Lord, maker of heaven and earth, is fighting for us. Yes, he is the owner of heavens and earth. He is the one who created. He is the one who is fighting for us. He is, he is our strength. He is our power in battle. Yes, victory is sure because God is on our side. Is on our side. No one will be against us. And I decree and I declare that we will not lose heart because of the enemy that is standing before us in the name of Jesus. My father, you will go and fight the battle with the strength. With the strength. With the strength. I decree and I declare that in this month you shall go and fight the battles with the strength of the Almighty God, with the strength of El Shaddai. Yes, the Lord has given us a victory over small enemies before now. Stand in faith, trust in Him in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We thank you that you have rescued us from the hands of the enemy. As you have rescued us from the hands of the enemy, there is nothing that shall harm us in the name of Jesus. We shall eat poison, it will not destroy us. No snakes that shall bite us in the name of Jesus. My Father, we are standing strong in your weight. You said in Ephesians 6 10, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Then put on the full armor of God so that you can be able to stand the tricks of the devil. For we are not wrestling against flesh and blood, but we are wrestling against cosmic powers that are sending fairy dust. My father, today, as we put our full armor, my father, we are able to withstand any fairy dust and let it go back to the center. 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 In the name of Jesus. Father, today, we thank you that you lead us. You protect us. Yes, you sustain us. You provide us. You heal us. You, my Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that you give us the strength. In the name of Jesus. Father, today, we thank you. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My Father, we are stepping in into our miracle. I remember the Israelites when they were in bondage. The Bible says they were in bondage. When a new king came over, a new pharaoh that didn't know Joseph, started to see how the Israelites were flourishing. Then he made a decision. To say they must do the straws, they must be they must be a bondage. They must be oppressed, they must be suppressed. Oh, they must be depressed. All this press, press, press must be on top of them. In the name of Jesus. Exodus chapter 2, verse 23 to 25. The Bible records that. And the Israelites cried. This is a miracle cry. When you are facing challenges. You are calling upon the name of the Lord. The Israelites cried unto the Lord. They, he, they cried unto the Lord. The Bible says, and the Lord heard their cry. And God heard their cry. He felt compassion. He remembered the covenant he made with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Oh my God. He remembered May God in this month of May remember us. In our battle cry, may God hear our prayers. Because he is the one who says in Psalms chapter 15, verse 15, Call upon my name in times of trouble. I shall hear you, I shall deliver you. Jeremiah 33, verse 3 says, Call upon my name, I will answer you, I will show you even great and mighty things. That will happen in the name of Jesus. Therefore the Israelites cried. We needed to cry like Bartimaeus, Who also cried for his deliverance. The Israelites were also crying for their deliverance. I am also crying for my deliverance. We are also crying for our deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Special greetings. 
to the bishop. The honorable Bishop Alex Muami from Holy Ghost Firehouse at Nell Spread. We were there celebrating on Friday and Thursday. We got our breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. I salute you, Baba, in the name of Jesus. And special greetings to all of you that are watching us. I'm so humbled today in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. The Israelites cried because of the bondage. If you don't have a bondage, there's no need for you to cry. But if there is a bondage, you must cry. You don't cry to anyone, but you cry unto the Lord. Because that's where we are raising our faith in the name of Jesus. Therefore, the Bible says, and God heard their prayers. Because in the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 7 verse 14 if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves pray and seek my face and repent from their wicked ways yes i the lord will hear them i will forgive them i will even heal their land i will heal them in the name of jesus therefore in the name of jesus god heard their prayers it is because they came back into their senses they repented they seeked god they asked for mercy. They were seeking for mercy. They knocked the doors of heaven for mercy in the name of Jesus. And God heard their prayers. Hence the birth of, hence Moses had to be sent. Moses had to be sent. In Exodus chapter 3, we see God is calling Moses. And Moses was given a prophetic instruction. Go and tell Pharaoh, let my people go. It was because of that battle cry. And, and Moses had to argue with God. Had to reason, citing all these excuses. When you read the book of Exodus, you will find five. When you read the book of Numbers, you will also find another five. There are ten excuses. He said, who are you? He said, I am who I am. What if they don't listen to me? I am not eloquent. He started to cite all these examples, but he, these reasons, but he said, I have already spoken to Aaron. Aaron will take your position as a prophet. Then you will take my position as the king. As you go and tell Pharaoh, I know that he will be very stubborn. God heard the Israelites' prayers. Any Pharaoh in our lives that is so stubborn must let us go. Any Pharaoh that has exploited us, that has abused us, that has overworked us without any salary, in the name of Jesus, today as we are living Egypt, as we are living a place of bondage, going into our promised land, we are stepping into our miracle. Canaan is our miracle in the name of Jesus. They went there, they performed miracles, and, and, and yes, up until he had to succumb to the request of God. Pharaoh, let my people go. Pharaoh said, ah, ah, they are not going. Let them worship God here. They can't worship God in a defiled place. Miracles had to take place. Then he came for the second time. Pharaoh, let my people go. He said, no, let them go, but not too far. Any monitoring spirit that was monitoring the Israelites, not to go too far. There was a tracker that is monitoring them. If there is a tracker that the enemy is monitoring you with, me in the name of Jesus, we cancel that tracker. You shall be released. You shall go and worship God in the place that is not defined. You shall go and worship God in the place of your miracle. Canaan is our miracle. Pharaoh said, no. Men can go. Leave your women, leave your children, leave your livestock here. Then the men said, no, we are not going to go. 
We want to go with them. Pharaoh is so stubborn. There are certain powers that does not want to release us. There are certain evil powers. I decree and I declare any principality, any superpower, any authority, any wickedness that has arrested our lives, that has closed the gate, today we decree and we declare that all the gates, all the doors must be perpetually opened. We are leaving Egypt in the name of Jesus. You sins, you sins, leave me alone. I am leaving you. I am going into my destiny. I am going to step into my miracle in the name of Jesus. Then Pharaoh said, okay, you can all go, but leave your livestock. That is money. Those are the resources. Many people are going to church, but there is no money. Where is that money? That money was left as in Dumbini, on those satanic altars. Where is their money? These monies were arrested. These monies are buried. But I love God who gave us power to, to, to you know, he gave us power to rule in the, in, the, in, the, in the spiritual realm on earth, even in the marine world. We declare and we declare to all the sun, the moon, and the stars, to all the east, the west, the south, and the north wind to release our blessings and they shall not arrest anything in the name of Jesus. We are speaking to the trees. We are speaking to the ground, to the earth. We are speaking to the rivers in the name of Jesus. That we've got power. We've got power. We've got authority. We have dominion. We are even speaking into the marine world to say any Levitian, any twisting serpent, any person serpent in the name of Jesus. We decree and we declare that my father today as we decree, my father, everything shall be well. We are speaking with authority because we have been given power to trample over the scorpions, to trample over the serpents in the name of Jesus. And at, at any means, at no means, that shall hurt us. Any tongue that will rise against us shall be judged in the name of Jesus. We decree and we declare that we shall not leave our resources in those dark powers where our monies were left. My father, every satanic altar that we raised by ourselves, that was raised by others on our behalf, in the name of Jesus, we destroy these satanic altars. My father, today we are leaving Egypt in the name of Jesus. They left Egypt after all these miracles. But if Pharaoh was a stubborn, as they were going, going out of Egypt, going into the land of the Canaanites, Pharaoh pursued them. Any enemy that is pursuing you shall be confounded, shall drown in the red sea. The Israelites cried. When they cried, they also cried, Hey Moses, the Egyptians are behind us. The Egyptians, Pharaoh was behind them. That was the enemy at the back. It was Pharaoh. On the right hand side, it was a, a satanic altar. The, that mountain of Piha he wrote. On the left, it was Mickey Tony. It was another altar Pharaoh that was using. In front, it was a Red Sea. That was another altar Pharaoh was also using. Therefore, they were surrounded by the enemies. When they started to cry, to say, I, I will let, hey, these people are going to kill us. But I love God who spoke to Moses. And Moses said to the Israelites, the Egyptians, fear not. This Lord is with us. This Lord is going to fight for us. The Egyptians that you see today, you shall see them no more. In this month of miracles, miracles shall happen. Miracles shall happen. Breakthroughs shall happen. Mysteries shall take place in the name of Jesus. The Egyptians that we see today, we shall see them no more. 
our enemies that we see them today, we shall see them no more in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we decree and we declare our healing, our restoration. Every Egyptian in a form of sickness, in a form of disease, I don't care what type of disease, it can be COVID-19, it can be HIV, it can be whatever, sugar, diabetes, low blood, high blood, milk blood, yes, salt, whatever type of a disease, you shall experience it or no more. You shall see it no more. In the name of Jesus. But Moses said to the people, do not fear. Stand by and see the deliverance of the Lord, which he will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptians whom you have seen today, you will never see them again. The Lord will fight for you. While you keep silent, the Lord will fight for you. I declare as a prophet of God that the Lord will fight for us. The Lord will fight for us. Let us stand still and see his salvation. Let us stand still and see his deliverance. Let us stand still and see his healing. Let us stand still and see his protection. Let us stand still and see his divine intervention against our enemies in the name of Jesus. Then he said you must move forward. I love verse 21. Verse 21, the Bible says, Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord swept the sea back with a strong east wind. All night and turned the sea into a dry land. This is a miracle because of the battle cry. It is my prayer that we are going to use Umoya Wasempumala. An east wind. Fortunately, in South Africa, we've got Impumala as a prophet. We can use that wind to turn the Red Sea into a dry land. My father, today, I decree and I declare that every Red Sea that is standing before us in the name of Jesus, my father, let the east wind convert this sea into a dry land so that we can walk any traps of the enemy it doesn't matter whenever they think that they've arrested us my father you are the arrester of my arresters arrest each and every enemy my father today i decree and i declare that every enemy that is pursuing us shall drown in the red sea and we shall see them no more in the name of jesus my father, today, I thank you. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that you are fighting for us. As you have promised in the book of Psalms 110, say it on my right hand side until I make your enemies a footstool. My father, we are sitting, we are relaxing. Everything is under control. You are fighting for us. As you said, our enemies shall be your enemies. My father, locate all our enemies, even their camp where they have gathered. My father sent to my camp to go and destroy them. This was a breakthrough. This was a miracle. As they go, as they go after crossing the Red Sea, we hear another battle cry of the Israelites as they were stepping in into their miracles every step has its own challenge but when you invite God in the name of Jesus God will level every challenge Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6 to 7 it is not by might, it is not by power, but it is by His Spirit. Spirit of the living God, be with us. We are speaking to these mountains. You mountain, who are you? Before us, before Zerubbabel, before Spiwen Who are you, mountain? 
You shall be leavened. We are speaking with faith. We are speaking with power because we are anointed. We have power, dominion, and authority. They also cried. They also cried. From nowhere. Generational hatred manifested. Generational animosity spirit manifested. Family generation enemies. There comes the Amalekites. Amalek was the grandson of Esau. Esau gave birth to Elias. Elias gave birth to Amalek. All the kings were called Akok, Akok, Akak, Akak, Akak. Haman was also a generational enemy. Was in the bloodline of Esau. Was in the bloodline of the Amalekites. They started to fight the Israelites. When they fought the Israelites, Moses went up into the mountain because in the mountain is a place of power, is a place of deliverance, is a place of victory. You cannot win any battle in the valley, but you need to go up into the mountain. When the eagle is fighting, is taking its enemy, is flying high so that they can fly in the highest place. Moses went unto the mountain, carrying his staff, carrying the power of God. Because where Moses was, the power of God was there. Luke chapter 5, verse 17, Jesus was there. Disciples were there, Pharisees, Sadducees, Zealots, and the multitudes were there, and the power of God was there. The power Paul wanted to know, I want to know. The power that resurrected Christ from the dead. This power Jesus was using when he went unto the mountain. Two men came. Hur and Aaron, they came and lifted up the arms, the, the arms of Moses, so that he can lift up the staff. When they lift up this staff, Joshua with the Israelites, they were prevailing. Today, in our ministries, today, in our works today in our businesses we do not have the arons we do not have the urs that are lifting up us our hands today's arons and the urs they are pulling us down they've got what we call a pull him or a pull head down syndrome so that you can be defeated so that you can lose that business so that that person can take it off. There are people who are fighting us, even in the workplace. The principals, they've got their deputy principals. The pastors, they've got their assistant pastors. Ah, the CEOs, they've got their deputy CEOs. In each and every area where you find yourself in, there is a deputy and the duty of the deputy is to support you but today we've got people who are not supporting but they are sabotaging it is my prayer that may God give you the ur and the iron of this day so that that which you are doing that work as the CEO that work as a school principal, that work as a director, 
in, 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 in any area, even when you are a pastor, you are a prophet, in wherever you find yourself in, it is our prayer that we need to have people that will support us, not sabotage us. Businesses are going down, ministries are going down because we have people that are gossiping, are people that are backbiting, people that are planning evil, people that are reversing the plan of God, people that are becoming jealousy, people that they want to, people that are chasing your pace. You don't chase someone's pace, set your own pace and walk in your pace in the name of Jesus. We decree. And we declare that this Ur and the Aaron are going to lift up our arms so that we can prevail. The Amalekites are the enemies of progress, are the spirit of limitation. When we step into our miracle, the Amalekites will come and they will fight us so that we go back to where we come from. But it is God. Who must come in? It is God who must come in. It is God who must come in. God intervene. As we step into our miracles. There comes, there comes, there comes the Amalekite. My father, my father, every Amalekite in my life, in our ministries, in our work, in every area, in our businesses, in every area. Where we find ourselves in, I decree and I declare by the message of God that my father, we shall overcome, we shall prevail in the name of Jesus. God fought for them. God fought for them. May God fight our enemies. Exodus chapter 17 Verse 8 to 16. Yes. Maka lo talarabaya. Zinga talarabaya. Leka talarabaya. Zeka talarabaya. Yes, in the name of Jesus. As Ur and, Mo and, 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 and Aaron lifted up the arms. Joshua fought. In every era of our life, we need to have Joshua's that we need that they must fight. We need to have the Urs and the Arons as we are the Moses of this day. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. They won the battle. Verse 14 says, And Jehovah said to Moses, Write this for a memorial in a book and rehearse it. In the ears of Joshua, that I will utterly blot out the remembrance of the Amalekites under heaven. And Moses built an altar and called it the name Jehovah Nisi, which means the Lord our banner, the Lord our deliverer, the Lord our fighter. And he said, Jehovah has son. Jehovah will, will have war with the Amalekites from generation to generation. This is a generational enemy. In our families, we have generational enemies. In our workplace, we have generational enemies. In our history of the church, even in the ministry, in the work of the Lord, we have generational enemies that are fighting every endeavor. He said to Moses, you must record it in the memorial book that I shall wipe off the memory of the Amalekites. I shall wipe off the memory of the Amalekites. Surely God fought against the Amalekites. But he said he, he wants to wipe off. I remember in the book of First Samuel chapter 15. After the ordination of Saul. First Samuel chapter 10. Saul was anointed with a flask of oil. <laughs> and oil is a mistake. That flask means a mistake because if you break an oil, 
a flask, it will never be repaired. Then God spoke to him. He said, Saul, I want you to write to wipe off the memory of the Amalekites. They troubled my children when they came from Egypt, having crossed the Red Sea. And I made a vow that I want to wipe off their memory. What happened with Saul? First prophetic instruction, it was a miscall. Saul fought against the Amalekites. Saul didn't kill all the animals. He kept something for himself. He never killed King Agag. Actually, he was supposed to have been killed. Everything should have been destroyed, utterly destroyed. And God was so angry. He said, Samuel, Samuel said, what have you done? It was the time for his repentance. But he lied. He said, I have carried out the lawful instruction of the Lord. He missed an opportunity for him to repent. Then Samuel said, what is it that is crying behind you? He said, no, I left some for the sacrifices. Samuel said, no, obedience is better than sacrifice. From that time, God turned his back against Saul. And Samuel turned his back again. They never met. God kept quiet because of obedience. Of disobedience, I mean to say. As you step into your miracle, it is my prayer that obedience is better than sacrifice. Let us obey, let us hearken unto his word. Deuteronomy 28, 1. If you obey and hearken, these blessings shall follow you, shall pursue you, shall even overtake you. But Deuteronomy 28, 15. If you disobey, these curses shall pursue you, shall overtake you. It is my prayer that we obey. It is my prayer that we obey so that we can experience exaltation as our miracle. So that we can experience productivity so that we can experience health so that we can experience victory so that we can experience to lead but not to follow God kept quiet Saul was so frustrated from 1st Samuel chapter 15 that is why he said now how long are you going to cry? Because there is certain cry that God will not respond to. Samuel interceded for Saul. He cried, Oh Lord, change your heart. Forgive Saul. God said, Hey! For how long will you mourn, will you fast, will you pray for Saul? Saul is out. 
Take your horn. Fill the oil. Go into the house of Jesse. There is someone that is after my heart. There are certain battle cries that when we cry, God will not answer us. And it is my prayer that there must be souls and we see a number of souls that are blundering. As a David, I am coming from the bad side of the desert. <laughs> there are souls that are blundering. May God locate us as David. Somewhere who grew in the tent. Who stayed in the house of the Lord didn't have a revelation when Jesse called all the sons he wanted to anoint until God said hey I don't look outside I look inside a, a man of God a prophet who stayed in the temple at a very tender age, had a miscall. Today we've got people who always prophesy. I wonder, always revelations, always revelations. <laughs> that says the Lord. Ah, ah. But I am here. The battle cry. This battle cry will make us to step into our breakthrough. I remember again in the book of First Samuel chapter 17 the Philistines and the Israelites there was a war. They were preparing for a war. The Bible tells us, 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 4 to 5, and there was a champion from Gath by the name of Goliath. This champion from Gath was, was Goliath. And if you can track Gath, Gath was one of the nations, if not the country, within the Philistines that were not destroyed by Joshua. Joshua left Gath. Joshua left Ashdod. Joshua left Gaza. That Gaza gave birth to prostitute Delilah. That went against Samson, the anointed man of God. That Ashdod was an altar where Dagon was staying. When Hophni and Phineas lost the battle, they took the ark of God in the book of 1 Samuel chapter, chapter four, 5. Yes, they took the ark and they placed it there. The ark of God was with Dakon. There was no need for that if Joshua dealt with that. But I am here. In the book of First Samuel chapter 17. Oh, before I go there. First Samuel chapter 28. Samuel never heard anything from the Lord. There was no prophecy. There was no divine visitation until he went to a Sangoma to go and inquire what does the Lord say. It is my prayer that disobedience is not our portion. Father, we want your divine visitation. 
We want your revelations. Speak to us through prophets. Visit us through dreams, through visions. As the book of Joel chapter 2 says, I shall pour my spirit to every flesh. Men shall see, shall see visions. Old men shall dream dreams. We are in this era. Some of us as prophets, so-called prophets, there is no revelation. There is no divine visitation. There is no prophecy because of disobedience. This is our time for us to repent. So that we can hear from him. Speak to me, O oh Lord. I am listening. Your servant is listening. Give me the word. I don't want to cook with sermons. I want to hear from you. Connect me to the great men and women of God. Make me to perceive that this is a holy man of God. Make me to prepare and offering for divine connection because I need to step into my miracle. That's what the Shunammite woman did. And the prophet received the gift, performed the deed, and the woman conceived. Whatever powers that are fighting us not to step into our miracles. I destroy. I destroy those satanic powers. My father, let the gates, let the doors be open so that we can be able to go and step into our miracles. In the name of Jesus, I decree, Father, and I declare by the mercies of God that my father you shall be with us in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, today, I thank you that you are always with us. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. Father, I honor you. Today, it is our prayer that we shall not disobey you. We repent from every satanic sins, known and unknown sins. We, soul spirit is not our portion. 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 Spirit is not our portion. In the name of Jesus. Soul spirit is not our portion. In the name of Jesus. Father, today, I decree and I declare your holiness in the name of Jesus. You are disturbing me. Please stop calling me. In Jesus' name. Listen. 1 Samuel chapter 17. After the anointing of David, he was anointed before his family and I like it when he said in Psalms 23 you prepare a table before my enemies you anoint me Psalms 23 4 to, to 5 he was anointed as the table was prepared before his household enemies the father of David was also a household enemy of David. Let alone the seven brothers. They didn't like him. But when he was sent to go and take care of the sheep, it was a divine, it, it was a divine preparation. He killed the bear. He killed the lion. This lion was not looking for David. This bear was never looking for David. The Bible never records that the bear and the lion chased David. 
day in, day out. No! This bear and the lion, they were looking for the testimony. They wanted to eat the testimony of David. So that come that time with what he is going to bring as a testimony to say, I qualify to fight Goliath. Our enemies are fighting. They want to devour. They want to devour our testimonies. But we are fighting and we say no to our lamb. We say no to our testimony. Because that time is coming where we need you to bring a testimony. And say I was in the kingdom of darkness. I served as a sangoma. I was in the palm of the hand of the devil. He tried to, to crush me, but he failed. All the more than 30,000 or 60 or 100,000 razors that, mutis that were put, things that I applied on my body, things that I drank, anything that arrested my soul, my spirit, my body. But today I come in the name of the Lord of hosts to say I, I, I came out of the mouth of the lion. Out of the mouth of the bear. Therefore, when David went there, when the father sent him, he said, Ten, take this cheese and these corns. That were prepared. Go and give it to your brothers. Go and give it to the king. These cons, they tell, they will prophetically, they say this young man is ready. He went through the fire. He survived. He, he was able to stand. When he came, he saw the uncircumcised Philistine. Everyone was shivering, including the king. Then when David came, he saw a tender. He saw an opportunity. He wanted to find out what is an offer. If, if, if one kills this uncircumcised Philistine. They said, you'll be exempted, you, you and your family will be exempted from the tax. This is a battle cry for you to step in into your miracle. David stepped into his miracle because of the testimony, because of the preparation God prepared him for. Then he said, what is an offer? They said, you'll get a wife free of charge and what you'll also get you'll also get uh, you'll be exempted from the tax first Samuel 17 32 says David said to Saul he said no I want to kill that man they said no okay let us take you to the king ah the king wanted to know eh uh, David said to Saul, let no man heart fail on account of him. Your servant will go and fight with this uncircumcised Philistine. Verse 33 says, then Saul said to David, you are not able to go against the Philistine to fight with him. For you are but youth while he has been a warrior for this youth. There are people who will discourage you. People that you are looking up to, they will tell you that we tried this, you are not going to win. You are just a novice pastor. You can't do this. But David said to Saul, he started to give a testimony. That lion and the bear wanted to, to eat the testimony of David. He said, your servant was tending his father's sheep. When a lion and a bear 
came and took the lamb from the flock. I went out after him and attacked him and rescued and rescued it from his mouth. When he rose up against me, I seized him by his bed and struck him and killed him. Your servant has killed both the lion and the bear. And this uncircumcised Philistine will be like one of them since he has taunted the armies of the living God. This is the testimony. My testimony. I survived the storms of the kingdom of darkness. They tried to kill me. Two gunshots here. They broke my arm. I went to hospital without a medical aid, but I was treated at Union Hospital in Alberton. I survive. No wonder why I will not stop to testify about what has the Lord done for me? David couldn't keep quiet. He couldn't keep quiet. And he said, The Lord who delivered me from the paw of the lion, from the paw of the boy, he will deliver me from the hands of these Philistines. Second Corinthians chapter 1 verse 10. He who delivered who delivers us? He will deliver us. His deliverance is forever continuous. Second Timothy chapter 4 verse 18. And my Lord shall deliver me. And the Lord shall deliver me. I am speaking deliverance. The Lord will deliver me from every evil work. Will save me unto his heavenly kingdom. To whom be the glory forever and ever. This is our God of deliverance. He shall deliver us. He will deliver us. Who delivered us out, so, out of so great of death? And will deliver on whom we have set our hope that he will also still deliver us. He will fight for us. He will deliver us. He will deliver us. As I said... Exodus 23, 23. For my angel shall go before you and bring you into the Amorites, Canaanites, Perizzites. Verse 22 says, But if you shall indeed hearken unto his voice and do all I speak, then I will be an enemy to your enemies. God is an enemy to, an en to our enemies. You need not. Just take it cool, relax. There is no weapon fashioned against you that shall prosper. In the name of Jesus. And David said, The Lord who delivered me from this lion and the bear shall deliver us. We've got history to tell. Any storm that we survived, that is our testimony. We need to make it a point that we make a prophetic declaration. That my father, you shall deliver us. As you delivered us. You will deliver us. My father, you walk before us. <clears throat> In the name of Jesus. Then Saul said, <clears throat> Go! May the Lord be with you. Because he tried to give him his attire. That was the surrender of the position. David said, no, 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 it's not a time. My time is coming. I am not rushing there. I know I'm coming. I'm a king. Don't worry. He confronted 
Goliath. There was this battle cry. He picked up five stones. Then he said, verse 43, Am I a dog? This Philistine said, this Goliath said, Am I a dog that you come to me with sticks? And the Philistine cast David by his coat. The Philistines also said to David, Come to me, I will give you a flesh of the bed and the sky and the beast of the field. This is a word warfare. There is a word warfare. There is a spiritual warfare. There is a physical warfare. Here it started from the words. Because Goliath sourced his power from Dagon, the gods of Philistine. That was an Ashton. When he said, I curse you. In other words, he was saying power to failure. But David came. This was his battle cry as he was carrying five stones. Then David said to the Philistine, You come to me with a sword, a spear, a javelin, but I come to you in the name of Jehovah. Sebateo. He didn't come in the name of the five stones that he was carrying. <laughs> I come in the name of Jehovah Sebateo, the Lord of hosts, the God of armies of Israel, whom have turned, whom have taunted. He took out the sleep. You shall have a final say over your enemies. David had a final say over Goliath. He took out the sling. He threw the stone. As he threw the stone, there was a divine intervention. The, the Holy Ghost started to make the stone to become rough. The Holy Ghost started to accelerate the speed of the stone. The Holy Ghost started to give a proper direction so that the stone can locate the forehead. Ha! What an accuracy. When you step into your miracle, wonder must take place. When you step into your miracle, the favor of God must fall upon you. May God direct your steps. May the Holy Ghost intervene in the name of Jesus. You shall kill that Goliath. Any Goliath that is speaking wrong things, that is intimidating you, every spirit of Goliath, I decree and I declare that today you shall die because we come in the name of the Lord of hosts. Blessed is the man who put his trust on God. That's why Jesus said, Trust in God and trust in me. We need to believe in him. Faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God. I decree and I declare that a miracle will happen. That Gold, that lamb was that killing of the bear and the killing of the lion was a stepping stone towards to go and fight Goliath. 
the defeat and the killing of Goliath, it was a day for David to be known. He was known. He started to celebrate. Verse 15. The Bible says in verse 15. Second Samuel. No, first Samuel chapter. I want to give you another revelation. Oh my God, verse 49 to 50, yes. And David put his hand on his back and took a stone, a sling, and smote the Philistine in the forehead. And the stone sank in his forehead and he fell upon his face on the earth. All your enemies that intimidated, that confronted, that thought they, they are going to win because you are a youth. The Bible says, First John 4, 4, greater is he that is in us than the one who is in this world. I may look tiny, but the God that I am carrying is a super and mighty God. Miracles, signs and wonders are going to take place. Extraordinary things, supernatural things will happen in the name of Jesus. Verse 50 said, the Bible says, Oh, so David prevailed over. Ah, so David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and with a stone, smote the Philistine and slew him and slew him. But there was no sword in the hand of David. He slew him, but there was no sword. Ah, yeah, yeah. We are serving Jehovah Nisi. He is the one that is fighting for us. Miracles. You know, we carry power. He slew him, but in the hand they saw nothing. Oh my God. Then Saul started to ask. He started to ask. He asked a very serious question. He asked, he said, verse 55, And when Saul saw David go forth against the Philistines, Yes, okay, David took the head of the Philistines and brought it to Jerusalem, but he put his armor in his tent. Verse 55, And when Saul saw David go forth against the Philistines, he said unto Edna, the captain of the host, Ebna. Ebna, whose son is this? And Ebna said, As thy soul liveth, in, is this youth? And Ebna said, Oh, I cannot tell. I don't know him. Those that they know him. When you do supernatural things, extraordinary things they will start to wonder who are you whose son is this who who is his father because that was a miracle it was for the first time ah for Saul to see this even Edna Edna knew that this was the son of Jesse but he said who son is this? Who is his father? Who is my father? Who is your father? Jehovah, the Lord of hosts. Enemies shall be disappointed and they shall die. That's how David stepped into his miracle because of the testimony. This was a battle cry. It is my prayer. It is my prayer that today we seek God's kingdom and its righteousness and all our desires shall follow us, shall pursue us, shall even overtake us. 
Number two, we need to repent from our sins. Repentance, the book of Joel chapter 2, verse 12 to 13 speaks about repentance. Jeremiah was on repentance. Jonah was on repentance. Minor major prophets were on repentance. For God's restoration. Therefore it is our prayer. That when you step for you to step in your miracle. You must seek God's first. And his kingdom. Then all these things shall be added. You must accept him as your Lord and Savior. Believe in him. Repent from all the known and unknown sins. God wants to do a miracle. In this month he is saying, forget the former things, not things of old. Behold, I am doing something new. God is about and he has already done it. That is why I said, can't you see it? He is doing it. And I thank God for my persistence, for my conviction, for my passion in the work of the Lord. I don't care any discouragement, any attack. I am just glued to him because I know he has great things for me. I know he has got great things for you. Don't be discouraged. What we are going through, we are going rough patches. But we shall stand still. We shall bring the testimonies. We will be stepping into our breakthroughs. We are stepping into our breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Already I have stepped in into my breakthrough. You have stepped in into a breakthrough. You must pray. You must connect to the prophet of God. There is this angel God has sent before you that you must connect to. Connect Connect. Connect. Every battle cry produces a miracle. The Shunammite woman had to connect. Her generosity, oh my God, her hospitality brought a miracle because of connection, divine connection. Obadiah failed to connect to prophet Elijah. He died as a pauper. He left the wife with two sons. And they had nothing. The debtors came to collect the son. But the woman, that widow woman, she cried, Prophet of God, my husband was your royal servant. Then Elisha said, What do you have in your home? What do you have said? I've got nothing but the child's one said. Go and borrow just as many as much as you can. Obedience to the prophetic instruction will take you into another level. And she did so. She came back with the tenth of oil. The ten percent. That oil ordained, anointed Jehu. Second Kings chapter 9. That one is an oil of multiplication. That woman stepped into her destiny. Into her miracle. From poverty. From rags to riches because of obedience. When she brought, Elisha said, Go sell the oil and go pay all your debts. Then the little the, the, the one that will remain, you'll survive. And she became a billionaire, multi billionaire. She was known for that. In the name of Jesus. Therefore, you need to connect to the prophets of God. 
Be faithful in your tithes, in your offerings, in your heave offering, in your, in your, in your, in your, in your generosity giving. Be faithful. You will see miracles will happen. Our breakthroughs, when we want to step into a miracle, there must be something that we need to do. In the name of Jesus. That Zarephath woman connected to the prophet. Before she ate, she gave the man of God first to eat. Because the man of God must speak a prophetic declaration. Oil and flour shall not cease. Out of these three and a half years, Elijah was carrying a prophetic anointing, a prophetic weight, prophetic wisdom, prophetic intelligence. Our mouth is bringing deliverance. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you as we step into our miracles. Any Red Sea, any Pharaoh, any Piha he wrote, any Amalekite, any soul that is busy fighting our breakthrough. My father, what are they waiting for? Let them die now in the name of Jesus. Father, I decree and I declare that we are stepping into our miracle by hook or crook. But in this month of, of, of May, we are stepping into our miracle. Signs and wonders shall follow us. Today, Father, we are praying for our miracle to take place. My father, today we cry like the Israelites. Today, my father, we are crying unto you. We are calling upon your name. My father, you know what we are going through. In the name of Jesus, step my father. Step in. Step in. Step in. Step in. Step in, my father, in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that my father, in this month of May, we are stepping into our miracles in the name of Jesus. My Father, you are Jehovah Nisi. You are fighting for us. You are Jehovah Jireh. Yes, my Father, you are providing us. You are Jehovah Shammah. You are forever present in our lives in the name of Jesus. You are Rose, the one that he let be. Thank you, Lord, for your healing from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet. Inside out. Today, Father, we are, we are celebrating this month, we shall celebrate Psalms 126. And the enemy said, the Lord has done something for them. The Lord has done something for them. The Lord has done something for them. Yes, because you have done something for us. We thank you, Father. We honor, we glorify your whole name. You are worthy to be praised. There is none like you in the name of Jesus. Father, I am speaking a breakthrough. I am speaking divine breakthrough in the name of Jesus. 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 My Father, in this month, my Father, as we step in, we are stepping in into our miracle. We are stepping in into our revival. We are stepping in into our breakthrough. We are stepping in into our success. My Father, we are stepping in into our prosperity, into our health, into our vision. Yes, my Father, into our direction. My Father, we are stepping in into our holiness. Because the Bible says, But upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. There shall be holiness. The children of Jacob shall possess their possession. My Father, we are possessing that power. We are possessing that healing. We are possessing our deliverance. We are possessing everything in the name of Jesus. Father, I decree and I declare by your mercies that my Father it is done. Thank you so much. I'm so humbled in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for this time and hour. Special thanks to Bishop Alex, a great general. Thanks for the Breakthrough Summit in Pretoria. We, we got our things. Ah, we will come and visit in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for everyone that is watching us, Judy. 
uh, from Matafen. Thank you so much, sister. In the name of Jesus. Nongululego from Peter Marisbeck. Thank you so much. Peter Onias from Zimbabwe. Thank you so much. In the name of Jesus. Thank you so much. Mama Nomsayeni. In the name of Jesus. From, uh, from, from, from Leon Dale. In the name of Jesus. Thank you so much. This is Apostle Spiro Wisdom Kadinde all the way from South Africa. Thank you so much. I am humbled. Shalom. Shalom. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. I serve a father who will never ever fail me. I have a father who will never ever fail me. Rock of ages, you will never ever fail me. Rock of ages, we will never ever fail me. I have a father who will never ever fail me. We have a father that will never ever fail us. He is taking us to our destiny. Shalom. Yeah.